now how much charge is going to reside in that your inside of your conductor that we will also prove with the help of that gauss law so all the net charge in the interior of conductor is zero and excess charge will reside on its surface that also you can prove with the help of this gauss theorem so that is also in terms of your integration of e bar dot ds bar which is q upon epsilon not but since this charge is zero so obviously you can say that there is no charge inside this your conductor and you can prove that the net field is zero inside that of your conductor now again if i just consider this is nothing but electric field at the surface of your charge conductor so the charge is distributed on this surface of this conductor and how much flux is going to originate from this surface so again that also you can find with the help of your this gauss law so we know that flux is equals to e bar dot ds bar which is q upon epsilon not so this ds assume that as a delta s so e into delta s the electric field is uniform on this surface so you can write it down as a e into delta s is equals to q upon epsilon not again you can write down that surface charge density is equals to total that is your charge upon total surface area then i can write it down that is further e into del s which is again q upon epsilon not so that is a sigma into del s upon epsilon not so this del s del s will get cancel and you can write down e is equals to sigma upon epsilon not also you can define the direction with the help of a in cap that is a unit vector which is perpendicular to this surface so that is the expression for your electric field because of this your conductor that you can find with the help of gauss law we have just proved that the electric field is zero inside that of your conductor again if i just consider the cavity inside that conductor then the field is also zero you can prove with the help of the same gauss theorem consider this is nothing but your gaussian surface now this gaussian surface doesn't contain any kind of charge so definitely the field is zero again if i'm saying that if electric field is zero then obviously the potential is constant so the electric field is zero always in the cavity that means it is insulated from this external electric field so that is the concept of your electrostatic shielding so in the case of your thunderstorm obviously it is good to just sit down inside that of your bus or your car so which is having the covering of your metal so the electric field can't penetrate through it so you are just safe inside that the same thing which i have explained over here with the help of this diagram so it is nothing but called as electrostatic shielding so the electric field can't enter into this region so it is forming a kind of cavity inside this surface and which will prevent us from the any kind of thunderstorm or any kind of external electrical effect